Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show the export of planar trackers to Fusion as 2D corner pinning nodes. Now, the scene that we're starting from is actually the final result of the multiple 3D planar trackers tutorial. So we've got three tr tracked planar trackers. And for this application, we're going to be generating 2D corner pin nodes inside of Fusion. So it doesn't matter if these are 3D trackers, planar trackers, or 2D planar trackers inside of Synthize. And we don't need to do any export prep work inside of Synthize either. It's just we're sending out these particular corners. So the export would normally export the selected planar tracker. We can hit Control D and deselect all of them, and in fact now it'll select all of them, or of course we could do Control A to uh, select them all and get them all done that way also. So let's get ready to run our export. So it's our Fusion 7 corner pin. And there's a fairly small number of options here. You get a choice of the corner pin type, and that uh, you'll see in Fusion. So we'll just go with the perspective there. There are a couple of other options that you can read some more about in the manual on the uh, Fusion export. So we'll just let that go. And now we're ready for Fusion. We can just open up the file. This is the file that was written just a second ago by Synthize. The Synthize export exports a Fusion comp directly. And you can see there's a different little stack for each of the planar trackers. And they're all connected together by a bunch of merge nodes. We'll put the other one up on the viewer here. And you'll notice it's, it's kind of an odd little order, 1, 3, 2. Where does that come from? Well, that comes over here in Synthize. You can set the layer ordering of the planar trackers in case some of them go in front of the, the other ones. So you can adjust that inside of Synthize. And then when you get to Fusion, the stack up will happen in the right order so that the ones that are on top are composited in last. So we've got now also the actual corner pin nodes here. And each of them, you see there's the option for which kind of uh, interpolation you want inside the area of the tracker, the corner pin. And you can see that each of the corners is now animated using the data produced by Synthize. So we've got each of those guys set up. And then feeding into each of the corner pins, there's a resize node. And that resize node is actually crucial due to how Fusion works and how the Fusion corner pin node is set up. So just trust me that it, it really needs to be the same so that you can add any, con any resolution sign or other artwork in on top of the uh, corner pin. So let's go now and we'll start creating a image to put in. So let's just throw that up there. Now this is actually an image with alpha. It's a uh, not a post, not a pre-multiplied alpha, so we need to go Click that little checkbox there on the input reader. And now we can start connecting to each of the corner pins. And now you see that our image is being put up inside the area of each one. So now we've got three window overlays there. You can see if you want to look more carefully, you can see, let's go to our corner pin. We can get the right one. You 
can see the effect of the different kind of interpolation in the corner pin. So there you have it. We've got our three different insertions done. And now we can go and render them out and do whatever else we'd like to do with them. So hopefully this has given you an idea how to use that 2D corner pinning export. Thanks.